Jason Momoa's Aquaman will finally get his own DCEU movie this year. Permission to come aboard. The superhero otherwise known as Arthur Curry is often mocked for the nature of his powers, but Momoa has portrayed him as a truly mighty warrior. His solo movie has a lot of people talking, which has resulted in a number of theories being conceived about it. This video will run through just a few of them. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. It's the best way of keeping up to date with all of Screen Rant's great new videos. Your half-brother King Orm is about to declare war upon the surface world. A War With Man The main plot of Aquaman will see the titular hero caught up in a conflict between surface dwellers who threaten his oceans and his own people, who are ready to lash out and invade the surface, with Ocean Master pushing them to do exactly that. While most superhero movies see the titular character prevent whatever disaster the villain is trying to cause, there's a theory that Aquaman will see Ocean Master obtain a level of success in his attempts to cause a war. With that in mind, the theory suggests that we'll see an all-out battle between the armies of man and the armies of Atlantis. And as unfortunate as that would be, it would undeniably make for an awesome cinematic spectacle. Where do I come from? You came from Krypton. Aquaman has Kryptonian roots. A theory made its way online a few months ago suggesting the DCEU versions of Wonder Woman and Aquaman are actually Kryptonian. And there's an extension of the theory suggesting the truth will be revealed in Aquaman's solo movie. Aquaman's origins haven't yet been explored in the DCEU, but the theory suggests Atlantis was created by Kryptonian colonists and that he is a descendant of them. The fact that Superman is slightly above Aquaman on the power scale can be explained as being because he spent more time in the sun. Moreover, any unique powers and abilities Aquaman and Superman possess can also be explained by evolution and adaptation, and we may discover more about that in Aquaman. My brother has come from the surface to challenge me for the throne. A trio of villains. A theory has been doing the rounds about Aquaman's villains, and it suggested that there would be a trifecta of them in the movie. Patrick Wilson's Ocean Master, Yahya Abdul-Mateen II's Black Manta, and Dolph Lundgren's Nereus. All three of those characters are definitely in the movie, but director James Wan has insisted only Ocean Master will trouble the titular character. Regardless, directors are renowned for misleading fans in order to not spoil their own movies, and the theory remains that Jason Momoa's character will be dealing with a trio of bad guys. I am death. I am dark side. Dark side. There's no doubt Aquaman will be a predominantly standalone movie. Its setting will be the ocean and the land near the ocean, and its characters will be mainly Atlanteans, the humans in conflict with the Atlanteans, and of course, the half-Atlantean, half-human Aquaman himself. But there's a theory that the DCEU's impending big bad Darkseid could make his first appearance in the movie. After his nephew Steppenwolf failed to retrieve the Mother Boxes in Justice League, he may head to Earth to do so himself. As one of them is probably back in the possession of the Atlanteans, don't be surprised to see the Lord of Apocalypse head there in a mid or post credit scene. I, do you talk to fish? The water does the talking. An army of sea life. There's an ongoing joke that Aquaman's powers amount to nothing more than being able to talk to fish. In fact, it was even referenced by Ben Affleck's Bruce Wayne in the Justice League movie. In the comics, Aquaman's been known to call upon armies of sea life, including sharks and other dangerous creatures, to fight on his behalf. And there's a theory he'll do that in his first solo movie. He'll want to show Patrick Wilson's character who the Ocean Master really is. And by having creatures like great white sharks, giant squid, and killer whales attack en masse under his command, he'd certainly do exactly that. You think you're unworthy to lead because you're of two different worlds. That is exactly why you are worthy. King of Atlantis. As things stand in the DCEU, Aquaman is the crown prince of Atlantis, with his mother, Nicole Kidman's Atlana, being the queen of the lost underwater kingdom. But there's a theory that the events of the Aquaman movie will result in Arthur Curry being crowned as the King of Atlantis, probably due to him saving the kingdom from destruction and proving himself as king material. That's not to say Atlana will die. Heck, she might end up dead, but we don't know that yet. But there's a good chance that she could bequeath her throne to her half-human superhero son regardless. You really are out of your mind. I'm not the one who brought a pitchfork. 
a surprise cameo. Bearing in mind the fact that this movie could see a war between men and Atlanteans, there's a theory that suggests another member of the Justice League might be forced to intervene. Seriously, if humans were forced to do battle with a race of people who were vastly superior to them in every way, could you honestly see someone like Batman just sitting it out? The MCU is often criticized for the fact that it doesn't really make sense for Iron Man to ignore the events of Thor The Dark World, or for Captain America to ignore the events of Iron Man 3. A Justice League cameo would help add to the conflict of humans fighting against the race of superhumans. This was our king's royal garb. Now it is yours. The iconic costume. One of the things people tend to laugh at with regards to Aquaman is his most famous costume. It's orange and green, and in the old days, it looked a bit silly. However, some recent fan art was circulating on the internet that proved it could look pretty awesome in live action. In addition to director James Wan and actor Jason Momoa himself teasing the idea, has led to some fans to theorize we'll actually see the classic costume in the Aquaman solo movie. If the green parts of the costume are a dark shade and the orange parts are more of a gold color, it really could look amazing. Here's hoping it does, if indeed the theory turns out to be true. I call it an ass whooping. And that's the end of our video. Did you enjoy it? What do you think about these Aquaman movie theories? Do you have any of your own? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section below. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Screen Rant for more great videos like this one. Bye for now!